Hello and welcome to class. This is Elite Just Pasha. Today we're going to be looking at how to calculate NDVI from two lands at same. What do I mean? Um, you have a portion, maybe your study area is between two lands at same, two lands at email that you have Bartholex, for example, 186, 55, and 186, 54. Now, these two lands at seen make up to form the entire or the place you're working as a study area. Now, how do you calculate the NDVI? Seeing that at ArcGIS, um, you must bring in the two bands. Uh, currently, I don't know ArcGIS desktop where you can calculate that using um, the image directly. So, we have to do some little, uh, let me say, pre processing before we can be able to calculate the NDVI. So what do we do? First, we bring in the first set of the images, which means this is a 18655. So we're going to bring in band four and band five. Okay, we'll bring in band four of uh, this and band four of the other one. So we're bringing in band four, and that will be the other pocket. We'll bring in the other band four, which is this. Bring in band four. Okay, so we have them like this. So what do we do next? We go to our catalog and we go to system tools and we go down to data management tool. Then we'll go down to raster. And we'll go to ra uh, raster data set. So we copy raster. So we're going to copy this to raster easily. So we're going to copy this. We start with the bar 4 of D54. And we, let's leave it like this. And this zero. This zero. And we click OK. While that is doing, let's go back and do the same for the other one. Copy raster. 65 0 we can make this into okay no need there's the other one which is the file option we make it as teeth and uh, we okay so wait for the two to um, finish copying i will pause the video and come back after the end on so you can put data into it. Right? So it has copy and what we do now next is we are going to go back to that catalog and we're going to go to uh, mosaic to new raster and then we're going to bring in these two. Forget they have to be in .tir while you are copying your make sure it is in .tir very important so we're going to go here and then we're going to click on any of this folder here we just want to put it here not that so now the name will be bam ball and uh it's going to be 16 on sign and the number band is one well one band each because we're already doing band four and band four of the other one. So we're going to click on okay here we're going to add dot TIL dot T I F. We're going to click on OK. So this step will be repeated for the second uh, uh, band. So let's remove this.
for the second image, which is we've just done 155 now. 155. So we've done the other version. So we need to do it which band now. We need to do band four of the other one. Alright. So this has finished. So let's remove this so that we leave this. This has finished. You can see that it has mosaic. Alright, so let's unzip this. Then we we'll go back and we're going to go back to this and we're going to pick band five. Add pick band five from the other one. Uh which one is that? Which is this, right? We band five here. We add. So these are another two bands. So we repeat the previous step by coming to copy raster. So I'm going to copy raster from band five of this. So we'll just make sure we add dot TIR, right? Five five and Oh, pardon me, one, some of my keys are working, so I'm using an on-screen keyboard. So, so dot TIN, and this is already zero, so we add zero for this. And then, format we can, it's optional, so we click this, and I'm going to click OK. So we do the same for uh, the other band. This was the band of works on. So I went in the sound for this. And I went to also add dot TIR. Dot TIR. And what would you move? So I'm going to add you here. And we change this SR grid to TIR, which is optional. So we'll click on OK. So let's uncheck this. Ah, this is it. Oh, we'll have to. Okay. I'm guessing there's another thing you need to learn because this video is more like I'm documenting some of the things. I do whenever I encounter issues. So sometimes after you put the TIF I mean process just like you saw now when it was saying um the raster did not calculate so you will make the dot TIF first and I'll put in the dot TIF and then you click on OK. So if that has been done we can now edit the dot TIF. So this first one that did uh right click Go to properties. So I'm going to add the dot TIF here. Let's see that one just deep now. So, uh, so just add dot TIF, and then I'm going to apply. Okay, sorry. So I'll do the same thing with. Either I'm brought in the samples. I need to one five five or through. So let's do two one five four. So the two I did were one five. So let's do one four now. Chin. So I will bring in the one five four. Okay. And uh we done that we just click on OK.
Kessel and the two have been successfully copied. But then we are going to have to add .tif to this. This one that has no .tif. But sometimes, you know, not as if we, I don't have a scientific proof to this, but sometimes it's surveying a method. Whatever you do at the end of the day, the most important thing is that you achieve the result, right? So I have a good DTIF, so we'll see it when we are getting copied. Well, we are mosaicing. So now I'm mosaicing to a more raster. I'm going to click and then bring in first, bring in second, and the location of the rest you use. And this second one will use four, and I'm going to name it man five. I'm going to add up GIF. As T band the format G I yeah. And then we go down the bands is all band and it is sixteen on sign. Then click on OK. So wait for me to finish so I will proceed. Well, so now we have our two bands that we need for NDVI Mosaic. All right, so we have band five and we have band four, right? That the band we use for NDVI, yes, for Lanza Kate. So now we need to either use the rule of this for a demonstration or go for that to bring in it into the study area exactly so anyone you can use it to calculate or just uh shutting it to our study area so where is our study area so this is our study area and that's as you see if this was all the one by you realize that to cut somewhere around here what we have there so now the next is for us to uh Clear I'm already using extract my mark since uh says we come together. So that's why. So but this is what I want to do. I want to use click because I do not have an L in my keyboard. It's OT. Okay. So we are going to bring in by five and we're going to bring in value as our output extent. And then we are going to compute this and click OK. I am not using, I'm not concerned about where the location it is. Just want to start the default folder so that we could um, finish up with the video. So that has clicked. All right, so we'll do the next one, which is band four. We'll bring in our band four and we'll break in the extent. And we ask it to use the impute feature, the clipping. We have used impute feature for clipping, yes. So we'll click on OK. I'll wait for this to be done too. All right, so we have our study area for these two bands. Okay. So. We could use this or we use this. So next we are going to raster calculator. So raster calculator is you go to the out tool and then we go down to spatial analyst and go to map algebra and then raster calculator. So we're either using the first two or the last two. But then, don't forget our formula is fluid of band side. Is it right viable band for? Let's look at. Um, let's take a look at the formula again. Okay, so it's band 5 minus band 4. Okay, so. 
and then band 5 plus band 4 okay so let's go back and correct that so it's band 5 minus band 4 yes so i was right so band 5 minus band 4 uh then we come here and divide by reload again band by plus band 4 okay so that is done so we just go and then we go to our folder where we've been saving this up in gpi and we have the one we've been using our gis for so let's believe it's on then just in the folder and then we're going to put it on the bi again so we could have put the tif or click like that in your one so click out okay. it so let's also do using the other one there's the last two so that one I think calculator so let's do the last one now so we're going to use this so we use float the expression for float and there we have band 5 minus band 4 now we divide by another float band 5 plus band 4 so let's leave this at the default folder and then we'll click on OK. So while that one is processing, we right click on this, go to properties, and we'll go to symbology, or go to classify. Yes, I'm going to classify for new appearance. So now we have this, so I went to use this and it just click and there we format the levels by reducing the number of decimals to three and uh let's click on OK so that we look at it so you could see the vegetation in this the yeah, is 0 0.2 you can see how to 0 0.3 and this one has been calculated too so let's look at this and also look at this so that we understand what we're doing so we'll right click on this one too and then we'll click on properties and there we'll click on classify and um, let's take us this so we're going to click on this and then to bring it to three decimal place click on OK click on OK so you can see so you can see that they actually um gravel what we've done so basically this is how to use way up more than one last thing the study area like this work you could see if we remove this and then just bring in the study area you realize that the study area has nothing so it means it requires a third band so you can see that we still have this space that is left so we still need to uh if on every other we're supposed to still have another band here that we use to add many that's three bands so if you have three four five six seven eight uh landsat scenes or swat we have to first um mosaic and to mosaic you have to copy raster so that it can remove some impurities and make it uh compactable to mosaic and then mosaic then from there you now calculate it you clip it to bring it to your extent the extent of the uh, area you're trying to use for study and then finally you do your NDDI but if you look at these steps these are very long steps because number one when you're calculating while you're doing your normal uh, band combination you are you have done band combination you've done uh subsetting or clipping to your extent you've done classification now you want to do any where you have to repeat the whole process so this process is tedious for arc desktop 
for me, it's tedious because you have to do things in double door. But then there is a better software or a recommended software that you can use to achieve this in an easier, better format. But my recommendation will be at the end of the entire uh, this whole thing I'm showing. So stay tuned and keep watching LIP Spasha. I'll bring you more of this video as we proceed. For now, let's call it a day. See you tomorrow. I tried that. I tried that.